guys, I am back. Uh, it's Melanie from Mango Paint. I am coming back to you with this cute little William dresser. Um, I hopefully you saw the previous video where I painted this cutie up uh, using a roller and our two-inch brush. She's now gotten a second coat, and we've also given her a very light distress. So you can see she looks a little dusty right now. Um, we did that using one of our fine sanding sponges. So took this nice little sponge and went gently over the entire surface. Um, hitting a little bit more on our edges to get a little bit of distressing. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera or not, but just a very, very minimal distressing on this and a, she feels super soft and smooth overall. But she is a little dusty because we've just sanded her and now we need to seal her up with our beeswax finish. Um, if you wanna see more about how to do that sanding and smoothing overall, there is another video that I have already made, um, which you should be able to find, um, where I show you exactly how to use these to get this kind of a finish. So today I'm going to use our natural beeswax. This is our hands down favorite finish for any painted project. Um, it's going to add some durability to this paint. Um, this painted project is also going to bring back that original vibrancy of this beautiful color that we used on this dresser. So our natural beeswax comes in this cute little four ounce, four ounce size. This is the perfect size for a few projects of this size. So this will go quite far for you. Um, it's very easy to use. It's an all natural product. We make it by hand here. Uh, we love it. it. Smells like beeswax. It's beautiful. Uh, and then we have our favorite waxing brush, which is our medium, um, medium waxing brush. And this is our go-to brush for waxing almost any project. So all I'm going to do is get a little bit of beeswax on the brush here. Can you see? Not very much. Um, a little will go a long way. And I'm going to, I'll start on this dresser, this drawer here. Um, so I've got my wax on here and I'm literally just going to start brushing it on. So you can see right away, hopefully you can see that color difference. Uh, right away we're getting back to that original beautiful color. Um, and it's going on super easy. Now, one thing I love about the beeswax is that literally I can go like this or this or this. Like you literally cannot mess this finish up. It's the easiest thing to apply. Uh, I'll get a little bit more on my brush. And you can see it's basically um, covered this whole half. Oh, I have t-shirt rags here. Um, it's basically covered this whole half drawer already in a matter of seconds. I'm gonna take a t-shirt rag now and I'm just gonna wipe off any excess. So really I'm just kind of smoothing it out, make sure that wax has got on every little angle and as I'm rubbing it, it's taking off any excess wax. So it doesn't really feel waxy now to the touch. So I could have done the whole drawer and then wiped it, but I just got excited and wanted to show you. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get a bit more wax and do the other half of the drawer. A really nice thing about our beeswax finish is that you can, um, if you get called away mid-project, it's not gonna leave you any start and stops. So if I did this and then like, you know, my kids call me or whatever, I gotta go do other things. Um, I'll be able to come right back to this project and just start waxing again here. It's not going to show me that I left halfway through, which is a really nice, um, really nice feature of our beeswax. So again, I'm just going all different directions. And I've got our t-shirt rag here, so don't be afraid. It looks like the paint is coming off, but it's actually not. It's just the dust because we sanded it and it has a bit of a dusty surface. So that's what's coming off on our rag. It's not actually the paint color coming off. I'm gonna give this a little, quick little buff. That's it, the top drawer is done. It's so easy to use, guys. Um, it smells really delicious, actually. Um, but look at, look at the vibrancy of the color on this drawer versus these drawers. So don't be afraid when you're sanding your pieces if they start to look dull or they look a little chalky. Um, it's, it's going to come right back as soon as you put that finish on. So I'm going to continue doing these drawers. You can see just how quickly that gets done. Again, just putting a tiny bit of wax on my brush every time. And like I said, you can go in all different directions. It doesn't matter. Just, just get it on there and move it around. And then you can use your uh, t-shirt rag to rub off any excess. Um, you don't have to wipe it off right away either, so I don't have to like be worried that this is going to dry and cure. 
I can just go ahead and I could wax this whole thing and then I could buff it when I'm done, like then use my rag or I can do it drawer at a time. So I'll put the wax on these three drawers and then I'll wipe off the excess with the t-shirt rag. Just gonna keep going here. We love the wax brush for this. You could also technically just apply it with this rag, but we find you use a bit more product that way. Um, and the, the brush is just really nice to hold in your hand and it covers lots of area really quickly. I'm not pressing hard. I'm not really worrying about which way I'm going. I'm just really good at making sure I'm covering the whole area. And I'm just gonna keep going. Now, every time I'm swiping into this container here, um, I'm taking hardly any. So I wanna make sure you know that I'm, it looks like I'm reapplying multiple times, but it's better to just sort of put what you need than to goop the wax on there. And then you're just gonna spend more time wiping off um, the excess. So let's get this on this bottom drawer here. And this wax brush is brand new, just open, so there are one or two bristles coming out onto the piece here, but don't stress about that either because they will wipe right off when you wipe with your rag as well. So that's it. I, I waxed all four drawers and now I'm just going to take my t-shirt rag and wipe off any excess and again this can be done in any direction you can do circular motions I tend to move my rag around the rag does get a little bit waxy as you're removing the wax so I tend to just keep going to a clean area of the rag just flipping it around drawers waxed. I will continue waxing these. We'll get some beautiful hardware on there and we will be sure to post pictures of this cutie all finished. But thanks for tuning in.